Now next question. Uh, for class 10, exercise 8.1, question number 3. You are given sin A value, calculate cos A and tan A. Sin A is opposite by sin A equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite is C. This is A, B, C. Then hypotenuse 4. You want to find AB. So AB equal to root of hypotenuse squared minus BC squared. So that is 4 squared minus 3 squared 16 minus 9 equal to root of 7. So now this value is root of 7. We want to find cos A. So cos A form line adjacent side by hypotenuse. So equal to what is adjacent side? Root 7 hypotenuse is 4. So this is the answer. The next tan A. Tan A is what? Opposite by adjacent. Opposite by adjacent. What is opposite? For you are referring uh, you are referred the angle A. So for this opposite side is 3. Then adjacent side is root 7. So this is the answer for this. Now question number 4. Given 15 cot A equal to 8, find the value of side 15 cot A equal to 8. Right? For this cot A equal to 8 by 15. So cot A equal to if it is angle A means cot A, cot A is adjacent by opposite. Cot A equal to adjacent by opposite. So what is adjacent? 8 opposite 15. So hypotenuse we have to find. So let it be A, B, C. So A, C equal to hypotenuse means plus. Other side means minus. So AB squared plus BC squared. So let it be 15 squared, 8 squared, 225, 64. So 5 plus 4, 9, 8, 2. So 17, 17s are 289. So this is hypotenuse is 17. We find sin A. Sin A formula, opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite is 15, hypotenuse 17. Then secant A. Secant A is the reciprocal of cos A. Cos A, adjacent side by hypotenuse. Therefore, hypotenuse by adjacent side. Since this is, this is the reciprocal of Cos A, cos A we know adjacent by hypotenuse, just to make it a reciprocal, so hypotenuse by adjacent. So what is hypotenuse? 70, then adjacent side of the angle A, 8. So this is the answer for this. Isn't it? Thank you.